Hi, I'm Jane Solomon. I'm going to talk you through how to use video mode on Byfield Reader. So we need to change to video mode. You can do that on the top bar buttons or you can do it via these icons on the side. So we've got a black screen. Um, the video mode allows you to see live stream video in real time but for that you need a camera that live streams so that will be a webcam or a video camera that live streams. A lot of the modern video camcorders say to tape so they don't live stream but all is not lost because you can save your footage on your tape, download it onto your computer and then run it through Biofield Reader. That way you've got your raw, unfiltered, unprocessed footage. You could try different filters, you can capture images from your original tape. We've got a good document on our website on biofieldimaging.com products on suitable cameras. So we've got a Logitech C920 HD which works really well but you can also download video footage from your mobile phone. You can use camcorders, old camcorders with Firewire are good but unfortunately lots of computers haven't got the Firewire port now. Um, right, let's go back now and connect the video down here at the bottom. So I've got the Logitech C920 HD and there you can see we're going to be doing live footage of a crystal. We can see what the energy is like around it and within it. First of all we need to set up our device. Now we like the Logitech C920 because it's got in its functions it's got sharpness and it's got backlight compensation. So put those to full and you get a much better picture. If you've got a very bright picture, a very dark one, you might want to alter the brightness. Then we need to go to our video options down here. And there's lots of choices, so you can scroll through there and choose what you like. There's also the option of HD. I'm going to choose HD and the largest screen size. When you've chosen HD, you can't alter here. This is now greyed out. If you want to get rid of the HD and go back and alter things on that line, then you just hit the default button. So we set up our device, sharpness and backlight compensation to maximum. We've got our video options. Now you might want to capture some images before you start recording. So if you want to capture it to a project, you tick here. And let's go down here and select where we're going to put all our images. So this takes you to the projects folder, which is within the My BFR folder on C Drive, My BFR. And we're going to make a new folder here, but you don't have to save your pictures in here. You can navigate up to wherever you like on your computer via this arrow or via these here. So I'm going to do a new folder and I'm going to call it Demo 26. Then I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to call this just these Crystal 26. Apply that name and select. This is just telling you the pathway. See my BFR projects, Demo 26, that we've called all the, the files Crystal 26. If you don't want to keep seeing that, then just tick here. So that's fine. So if I want to capture an image, it shows up and it's saved in that folder that we've chosen. Now we're going to look at the filters. We've got 20 filters. If you look in the user manual, free to download on the home page, you'll see there's a list of the filters and their uses. Filter 001 is our standard filter. We've used it for lots of research. I'm going to choose that. If you want to keep that filter on for the whole of the session, maybe you're doing numerous filmings, recordings, you can tick here. So we've got our baseline with, without the filter on. It's quite important if you're taking pictures of people that you do either a bit of recording or capture an image of them because once the filter's on, it's quite difficult to recognise them. But it's good to know this baseline picture 
what the shadows like, what the conditions were like. So we've chosen our filter, now I'm going to put the filter on and you can see how the light is around and within the crystal. You might want to start your recording here. I'm just going to capture another image. So we've got a baseline image. And now we're ready to start recording. So press the start recording button. And by default, it takes you back when you first open up to video files, which is in the My BFR folder. But if you change the pathway during the session, by default, it will go back to that when you want to make another recording. But you can navigate up and save your video wherever you like, here by navigating here or here. And I'm going to call this Crystal 26. Save that. And then you'll see that recording has started and the time is here. Now you might want to, during the session, see what the crystal's like with energising, but I would advise you to do a control shot of the picture in that hand before you start because it changes the light round, the hand coming into the field. So if you're doing comparison, you need to do that. So stop recording, pressing there. Just wait a little while while the recording's being processed. And while that's doing, just to say that movie files do take up a lot of space, storage space on your computer. So if you're going to do long videos or lots of them, you might think about storing your videos on an external storage device. You might want to carry on, try intervention, capture images, do another recording, but we're going to look at what we've just recorded. So come down to the bottom to disconnect. Now we've disconnected the camera, you can see that these are blacked out again. So you press the play button, you can navigate anywhere on your computer that you want to. So you can go up again or there. And this is the one that we've just recorded. So you can look at it again, you can capture images. Maybe see something that you didn't see the first time. So stop there. And if you want to find another video, maybe you've got some raw footage you've taken of trees or a person. Um, it's really good for the live stream, for seeing things as they happen. Like for instance, you might be recording somebody who's thinking positive and negative thoughts and seeing how that changes their field. You might want to film somebody during Qigong, during healing or Reiki. Now on our website, we've got some interesting videos you might like to see on the home page. Just get there. And we've got some videos which show really interesting changes in light or the field. These two people were making a, an energy connection one to one. You can really see the light shift. These people were making an energy connection quite dramatic results. They regularly work together clearing negative energy in buildings and around people. This one here, unfortunately the crystal's hidden behind the play button, is a crystal which had positive thought projected towards it and you can see how the light and the field changes around it. And here is a live streaming of a healing session which shows very interesting light fluctuations, differences in colour around the healer and the healee, and also on the person having the healing. You can see more green balance coming in and a lot of the congested red energy going. So just check there's nothing else I've missed. I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.